So many of you may be familiar with unsplash.com, which is one of many free stock photo websites that's quite popular. Now they host thousands of high res, completely free to use, um, high quality images for your editing or your websites or YouTube channels or whatever you need the images for. And uh, there's such a good variety on here. It's um, a fantastic resource. Now, most people would search in the search bar, of course, it's got comprehensive search criteria here. You can see like trending searches, trending topics. So you can sort of search for um, photo of a cat, etc., etc., and it will bring up all these results. Now, there are some premium versions been sort of added in now, premium Unsplash Plus things, which aren't free, but it's very simple to get those out of your search results because you just change the license drop down here to free. And there are a lot of free images on here. So just filter out the ones that you'd have to pay for and you get to this, um, you get to all the free high res options. Now, that's all well and good, but there's a feature of this search which I don't think a lot of people use, or at least they don't really know about it. And that's a visual search. So if I click onto this little icon at the very right hand side of the search bar, it's got visual search and it will bring up this dialog box, this image. So I'm gonna drag an image I've got on my desktop onto this. Now the image I'm dragging in is actually from Unsplash in the first place. So in theory, this should come up as one of the results. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna take your image, it's gonna analyze it quickly, and then it's gonna bring up some search results that it deems to be similar to your um, input image. So the first one on here is an identical image, which makes sense because this image was from Unsplash in the first place. And then as you can see, the first few images there are very similar in terms of their composition and overall kind of look and feel. Now you see there's different ethnicities, there's different hair colors, slightly different clothes, backgrounds. So they're not, it's not an exact copy because obviously it depends on what they've got in their database. It's not generative AI, so it's not trying to copy it. It's just using it as a reference to find what other images it has in its catalog of free photos that are, um, are stylistically in, you know, a good match for yours. And the further you go down, the more sort of it, it wanders away from the original. So you get more natural variety as you go down. And if you keep scrolling, they start to look really nothing much like the original, um, other than the fact that, you know, you've got this one subject in front of a background at a quite close portrait kind of shot. So the overall loose sort of theme is still there, but it gets a lot more diverse the more you go down. And we can use it for images from anywhere. So let's, for example, I've got another image here. This one I just got from Google Images, so I couldn't, it's a cat on a green background. I couldn't use that in my project because I don't know what it's come from. It's probably from someone else's website, but I can use it to drop in here and allow it to find results on Unsplash that, you know, fairly closely match the, um, match the stylistic and the sort of um, compositional factors of that original shot. So you can see here, we've got similar kind of cats on outdoor sort of backgrounds, kind of close in with nice eyes. And some of these you might even like better than the original anyway. Um, and as you can see, when we scroll down, we're gonna to start to just divert away from that slightly. So now we've got different kinds of backgrounds, still outdoors, but getting different angles, a lot of different exposures. And, that, and now it's really sort of varying. So you can see the further you go down, the further you get away from it, but it's good inspiration because we might go to this one and say, oh, do you know what? I, I like that image more than the original. It's not an outdoors on the grass, which is what I thought I wanted, but, it's, but that's led me to see this photo and I might just sort of fall in love with this and go, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go with that one instead. And don't forget, you've, also, you've always got the option of downloading one of these images and modifying the background yourself. So like the second one, for example, we could take that into Photo P um, and sort of make the background greener to make it in more in alignment with the top one. So I just thought I'd uh, make you aware of that option because I know a lot of people I spoke to don't know about it and it's um, it can be incredibly useful.